guys, welcome back to The Stimulus. I'm Steph Evs, and you're probably wondering why there's no Twistum episode this week. Well, yesterday I had the awesome opportunity to go to Nevada, California to participate in Space Fest and volunteer there, and I couldn't pass that opportunity up, of course, so that's what you're getting this week is a vlog of that super awesome opportunity. I got to meet some amazing astronauts. I got to meet Al Warden, Oop Gibson. There were tons of others there. It was a great experience, and this is the second time I'm having to film this intro because for some reason if I film it on my iPhone, then yeah, the audio's off. So that's why you're getting this beautiful all natural look. Hashtag no makeup. Yeah, we're gonna own it and just pretend this doesn't look terrible. Ugh. Anyway, um, but yeah, so check out my vlog of yesterday at Nevada Space Fest. Hope you like it. Hey guys, I'm hanging out at Novato Space Fest in Novato, California, and it is amazing here. There's uh, 32,000 shuttle tiles on each shuttle. Yeah. Uh, there are different tiles, there are differences in the tiles between each shuttle also. Uh -huh. uh, so what we're going to do here is take a torch, heat it up when you come through at 17,000 miles an hour, mm -hmm. starting with the atmosphere. The atmosphere is pretty thin, yeah. but as it thickens up, you will see a color change here. shot of it, it would be uh, white hot. We're not going to get it that hot here today. so far there's so many people here I'm so excited Heather got interviewed which is just amazing and I'm just so excited to see this many people excited about space it's just a really really cool deal so so far so good Brad of Maiden Space. Brad, hey. what do we got here today? Uh, so you're looking at a lot of things that can be printed in space using our 3D printer that was designed to operate in zero gravity. 
awesome. So this is really kind of opening up a new capability for mankind to manufacture goods off the surface of the earth. Okay. So in the near term, it's things like you know, spare parts, additional sample containers, wire ties, broken components, things like that. Uh -huh. uh, in the long term, it's colonies and spacecraft and space stations being built in space rather than you know being launched and assembled in various parts and pieces. Outstanding. And this is the, actually the printer that's on, a proto, not a prototype necessarily, but a replica this, of the one that's on the space station right now. Yeah, right? this is one of six duplicate printers that we built okay. for the 3D printing and zero gravity demonstration. Okay. And what's the big difference um, in the printing process from what we see here on Earth? So the printing process itself isn't that much different. Okay. Uh, when you have a build or an extruder nozzle this close to the build platform, mm -hmm. surface tension just takes over. Okay. It's true on Earth just as it is in space. Uh, but everything around that process, meaning the, the convection, the airflow, uh, the components that move the tool head in three-dimensional space, um, you know, the, the off-gassing properties, all of those things had to be taken into account and factored in and engineered around. So right. there's a lot of engineering that went into the printer uh, itself, but not a lot. There wasn't too much that had to be changed with the actual extrusion plastic process of printing itself. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you, sir. Sure. Well, Heather, what do you think of what do you think of Space Fest currently? Space Fest rocks. If you're not here, you're totally missing out. You heard. You heard. We have stormtroopers. Yes. And space 3D printers and yes. astronauts and oh my God, there's so many toys over there. It's amazing. <laughs> toy rockets. It's amazing. Come to the stormtroopers. Stay for the toy rockets. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. If you didn't come this year, come next year. It's come amazing. This is Brad. He does made in space stuff. Okay. Say hi, Brad. Hi. Who am I saying hi to? YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Yeah. Hi, see, YouTubers. You're, you're going to be on the stumulus. Show the shirt. Show the shirt. Show the shirt. Rep, rep the maiden space. Yes, there you go. Excellent. Very superhero. Well done, sir. But yeah, there you go guys, that was my day yesterday. It was outstanding and I had so much fun from start to finish, from astronauts to stormtroopers, from meteorites to 3D printing. It was amazing. Thank you so much to the Space Station Museum for letting me come out and run around like a fool with my camera. Um, shout out to Heather Archuleta, Maiden Space, Brad from Maiden Space, everybody that let me hang out It was and film them. It was amazing, I appreciate it so much. Um, just a blast. If you didn't go this year, be sure to check out uh, the Space Station Museum's website, their Twitter account, and go next year. Really, if you're any kind of space enthusiast on any level, it's amazing. I highly recommend it. It's been growing every year. It's just a really cool experience. Um, this week, we'll be going back to the regular Twistin' videos. So, as always, if you find any really cool STEM-related news stories, please feel free to send them to me on Twitter at, at stephaz 43 using the hashtag Twistin', and they might wind up in this week's episode. Also, I'm gonna start getting wrapped back into those topic talks. So again, if you have any really cool STEM related topics or even if it's just geek topics that you wanna hear me talk about, uh, feel free to send them those to me as well on Twitter using the hashtag topic, topic talk. Yeah, that one, topic talk. Mm, yeah, but with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the week and I will see you next time.